Up until this point in our API methods, we have not handled errors in proper way or in a central place in our application. What we did is, we simply sent back an error message as JSON in each route handler in case something went wrong. And that's what we are going to fix in this section and learn how to do a proper handling in our Express app. There are two types of error that can happen in your Express app, operation errors and programming errors. Operation errors are the problems that we can predict that will happen at some point in future. And so we need to handle them in advance. Operational errors have nothing to do with bugs in our code. Instead, they depend on the user or the system or the network. For example, a user might try to access an invalid route. So we need to handle such kind of actions by the user. In the same way, if the user is inputting some invalid data, that also we need to handle from our application. Another example would be when application failed to connect to the server or the database, or when a request times out. So all these are examples of operational errors. And we need to handle these operational errors in order to prepare our application for these cases. Operational errors are also sometimes called as exceptions. Then we have programming errors. So programming errors are simply bugs that we programmers by mistake introduces them in our code. For example, trying to read properties from an undefined variable or using await without a sync or accidentally using request.query instead of request.body or passing a number where an object is expected. So these errors are really inevitable and also more difficult to find and to handle. So I hope now you have an understanding of difference between operational errors and programming errors. So when we are talking about error handling with the express, we mainly just mean operational errors because these are the ones which are easy to catch and handle with our express application. And express comes with error handling out of the box. All we have to do is we have to write a global error handling middleware, which will catch and handle all the errors happening in the application. No matter if the error is happening on the route handler or the model validator or some other reason, this global error handling middleware will catch all the errors and handle them accordingly. Now, the beauty of having a global error handling middleware is that it provides a nice separation of concern. So in this way, we do not have to worry about error handling right in our business logic or in our controller or anywhere else in our application. We can simply send the error to the global error handling middleware where it will be processed and handled. So let's go ahead and let's implement one such global error handling middleware for our Express app. And using this global error handling middleware, we are going to handle the requests for the URL for which we do not have defined a route. For example, currently we are creating a default route for that. And from within this default route, we are sending some JSON response with the status as fail and with some error message. But instead of doing it like this, we are going to use the global error handling middleware. In the same way, if we go to our movies controller, you see, for each of the route handler functions, we have this catch block and from within this catch block, we are sending some error message. Basically, we are handling the error and sending some error message to the client. So we are also going to handle these types of errors from the global error handling middleware. So let's go ahead and let's create a global error handling middleware for that here. Let me go ahead and let me use app dot use and to this app dot use, we can pass a middleware function. Now, in order to make this middleware function as global error handling middleware, we need to pass four arguments to it. And the first argument should always be the error. This error parameter which we are passing here, it is going to receive the error object, the error which has occurred. Then we also need to specify the request, response, and the next function. So as we specify it in other middleware functions this global error handling middleware function, it just have one extra parameter called error. So when we specify these four parameters for a middleware function, Express app will automatically recognize it as an error handling middleware. And therefore, Express will only call this middleware when there is an error. Now from within this middleware, we are going to send some error message in the form of JSON data to the client. So for that, here I can say response dot and let's set some status here. Now, we do not know what type of status here we need to send because we are going to use this middleware function as the global error handling middleware function. 
and we can have different types of errors in our application and for all those errors we are going to execute this same middleware function and based on the error the status code might change right so currently we do not know what status code we need to send so what we are going to do is let's go ahead and on this error object the error object which we are receiving here there we will have a status code property okay so what we want is we want to set this status code property to the status code property of this error object so basically if this error object has a status code we want its value to be that otherwise if there is no status code set on this error object yeah i'm going to use the or operator in that case we want to set it to default 500 now here we are defining a default status code because those errors which are not created by us but some other code in our application those will not have any status code so that's why we are setting the status code to 500 which means internal server error which is a kind of standard here okay so if this error object has a status code we want to send that status code in the response but if it does not have a status code set in that case we want to send this status code 500 and now let's go ahead and let's pass this status code to this status method and then we want to send some json data in the response for that let's use this json method and in there let's specify an object in that object we are going to set the status and here we want to set the status to error.status so whatever value we have inside this status code property of this error object and then we also want to set a message property here and to this message property we want to assign the message property of this error object okay and here when we are setting the status code let's also go ahead and let's set the status so error dot status and let's say we want to set to error dot status if it has a status value otherwise we want to specify a default value for it if this error object does not have a status value so let's say in that case we want to set it to error this error basically means that here we have either some 400 errors that is client errors or some 500 errors that means some server error that's what this error means so this is our very simple error handling middleware now whenever we want to call this error handling middleware from any part of our application code there first we need to create an error object so let's say when a user types a url for which there is no route defined then in that case we want to call this global error handling middleware function to do that let me go ahead and let me comment this code i will keep it for your reference so from here now we want to call this global error handling middleware for that first we need to create an error object so here i am going to use this const keyword and let's create an error object let's simply call it error or here i will call it as err and here we are going to instantiate this error constructor so this error constructor is a built-in constructor available in javascript and we use this error constructor to create an error object now we are going to pass this error object to this global error handling middleware function when we are going to call it and on that error object we are expecting a status code a status and also a status message okay so here on this error object we need to set these properties now how are we going to do that well let's just go ahead and let's set the message property on this error object and to do that what we need to do is we need to simply pass a string value to this error constructor and in there we can specify the error message so here let me go ahead and let me copy this line so this is the error message which we want to set on this error object i'll copy it from here and i'll simply paste it here and then we also need to set the status code and the status so here let's say err dot status it's equal to fail and err dot status code it's equal to here you see we were passing this 404 status code so let's set it to that now the question is how are we going to pass this error object which we have created here to this global error handling middleware function well for that we need to call this next function so let me go ahead and let me call this next function 
and we are going to call this next function in a special way. So earlier, whenever we called this next function from any other middleware function, we simply called it like this. We never passed any argument to this next function. But now we are going to pass this error object to this next function. So this time we are passing an argument to this next function when we are calling it. So when we pass an argument to the next function, no matter what that argument is, Express will automatically know that there was an error. Okay, so here when we are passing this error object to this next function, Express will assume that some error has occurred. In that case, Express will skip all other middleware functions which is currently present in the middleware stack and it will directly call the global error handling middleware function. Okay, when we are passing an argument to this next function, Express will assume that an error has occurred. It will skip all other middleware functions which we have in the middleware stack and it will directly call this global error handling middleware function. And it's not only the error object. If I pass any argument to this next function, let's say if I pass 100 here, in that case also Express will assume that some error has occurred and it will directly call the error handling middleware function. It will skip all other middleware functions and it will call the error handling middleware function. Okay. But here we want to pass the error object. So now what this next function will do is instead of calling next middleware function in this stack, it will call the global error handling middleware function. And there this error will be assigned to this error object, this error parameter. Okay. And that should be it. So let's go ahead and let's save the changes and let's test it out. Let's go to Postman. And from there, let's make a request to this URL slash API slash V1 slash movies. In this case, we should get all the movies in the response. But if I say, let's say movies, if I misspell this movies, if I type extra S here, in that case, we don't have any route which matches this URL pattern because we don't have any resource called movies with double S. So in this case, this route will match and this middleware function will be called. And from within this middleware function, we are calling the global error handling middleware function by calling this next method, right? So if I go back to Postman and if I make this request, you see, we have this JSON data in the response where the status is 404 and messages can't find this URL on the server. So this is how we define a global error handling middleware. Now we can also call this global error handling middleware from our Vs controller. So basically from these route handler functions. Here we have this get all movies route handler function and in the catch block we are sending some response with the error message to the client. But here also we can go ahead and we can create a new error object. We can set the status and status code and also the message property on that error object and we can call the global error handling middleware function by calling the next method and passing an error object to it. But here I'm not going to do it because in the next lecture, I'm going to show you a more proper way of handling these errors by creating an error class. This is all from this lecture. If you have any questions, then feel free to ask it. Thank you for listening and have a great day.